Ah, yes. Uh, more new angles of the Daleks. Now, question. What... Were, were the were the angles for these Daleks from the end of uh, Age of Steel or Army of Ghosts? Well, actually, I used the To Victory poster from Victory of the Daleks as a reference. Hmm. But it is the same sort of angle, so yeah. I see where you're coming from. Mm -hmm. Okay, everybody, this is it. You, attack that one. You, attack that one. Kill them all. Kill them all. Yeah! Ah, uh, yeah. This this is an example of you editing over a picture that I sent you. Yeah, because originally I wouldn't have, and you sent me the image of the laser blast just hmm. staying there in the air, and I thought what I could do is combine, so I took your Cyberman image and edited over the laser bolts, thinking... I'll add a bit more motion to the video, and that will impress you. Yeah, yeah, it's always nice to see that style of movement, or that quality of movement, I should say. Ah, uh, yes. Um, I, uh, true to my Cyberman voice, I also had to do uh, a series of screams, or death, uh, noises uh, from the Cybermen for that shot. Yeah, you, you pulled them off really well. They sound really convincing, like yeah. the actual ones. Yeah. In fact, I can I can do it again right now. Like, I think the I think how I managed to do this scene, like it'll be the original, then the edited over version. I think what I did was I basically did this. <laughs> <laughs> or something so so I think it was along those lines I basically I, I did my homework I found I, I listened to closely to what Cybermen sound like when they've been killed off or zapped or hit so yeah uh, d you didn't you also you also did the delete lines and stuff too didn't you to begin with yes yes I did <laughs> Snake Staff Magic, the enemy Falcon has been taken down as requested. That's good to hear. Falcon deserved it after clawing the back of Sour Powder's neck like that. That looked painful. Ah uh, yes, this is the moment I realised that Falcon was dead. <laughs> well, I was like, so I um, what did you imagine? happened before that point well the thing is um I, um it, it, it kind of happened so quickly that i thought ooh, uh, was that a dalek death blast or was it a blast from something new that i've not seen yet and i guess when uh when you and dalek one are discussing it i was like you really did it <laughs> that's when i figured out that He's bitten the dust. You know, interesting fact uh, fact I want to bring up is that um, it, the final scene that I worked on was the one where the Dal the one after the Daleks retreated and it was me dismissing all my forces. That was actually the first scene I ever worked on for that uh, for this chapter. And you basically said, oh, be sure to send the bootlegs away but without Falcon. And... I assumed the worst and thought, <laughs> okay, uh, I think I know what he's getting at. Let's make it seem like he's been killed. And um, I didn't know if you were going to have him, like, uh, killed off or kidnapped. And so um, uh, did, the, did Falcon's death originate from that scene I sent you? Or did you no. intend to have him killed off from the start? Yeah, yeah. I, I intended to have him killed off originally. It's a, it's a case of... Because I asked you to send me a lot of clips, and obviously I didn't want you to work out how the story would go while I was asking you to do these. So after that point, I kind of realised I should be asking you to send a couple of fake clips so you don't know which one's going to be in it and which one isn't. Mm -hmm. Now... 
It's Fresh Powder's turn. Everybody! A lot of things happening in that shot there. Uh, one that I recognize the most is the one picture that I did of, like, the main six minus Pinkie Pie charging into battle. And they were images that I found on Google Images, but also on uh, the My Little Pony wiki and screenshots of the show. And so I just put them together to make it seem like, oh, they're all heading off in the same direction. And I like the fact that Fluttershy is at the back be uh, wearing a pair of flu that pilot goggles because out of, all, out of the main six, she's the least likely to get into a scuffle. And so I thought, yeah, that'll, that'll suit her character for that shot. <laughs> I am. I was pretty proud of the shot. It's one of the clips I gave you a really tiny preview of, just showing you the uh, uh, laser bolts firing. I think. But I mm -hmm. uh, oh no, actually, I showed you the Cyberman one. But I guess an uh, originally Twilight had Spike on her back, and uh, obviously in the previous clip, Spike wasn't there to be seen amongst SpongeBob and the others. So I had to edit him out. But yeah. afterwards. Mm. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> yes. Fight back! Oh, you got me. <laughs> it took a lot of work to make that clip. <laughs> I had to get a cardboard box and put my arm around it. And then the, the arm you're seeing in that clip is separate from the body of that clip. So I had to put my arm in front of Fresh and make it look like I was physically grabbing him, which was quite tricky. What happened? Where am I? Ah. Uh. And there you are with your proper up-to-date green screening technology. Yep. <laughs> Dudley. What's going on? Where are my friends? Ah, uh, yes. Um, originally I thought you had encased the entire dimension in like a sort of red bubble, but then you clarified it was basically just a window back into nowhere. Yeah, well, more of a floating crystal ball sort of thing rather than... Because obviously I like to imagine this wasn't like the doorway we'd just come out of to get into the realm, because if that had been the case, I imagine if we were battling, you would have been trying to jump up into it to get back and stuff. Mm -hmm. And I thought by having it there during our battle and you being able to see the battle, it meant tensions were high and you had to get back ASAP. Yeah. So. Also, I want to point out that I noticed recently, ah, you've got Gunpowder's two tanks there in the background, along with Fresh's other forces, which aren't really that noticeable, but they're still there. Yeah, just a little bit of foreshadowing to them being a part of the battle, mm -hmm. you know? Yeah. About where we were in that other dimension, fighting my forces. <gasps> They're in danger. I need to help them. Don't worry. My Daleks have been ordered to cease fire as soon as both of us have returned. But in order for us to do that, one of us must die. Exterminate! <laughs> Your Daleks have been ordered to cease fire, you see. We'll explain those two. <laughs> Well, no, I mean, originally, what it was meant to come across is, uh, they'd only cease fire after you'd, one of us had returned. So hmm. it'd be, they're fighting your forces until one of us got back, was their um, orders. So, so uh, uh, the cease fire was hinting at the massive airstrike that was promised if Fresh was killed off. Well, it was more a case of, with the airstrike, the dialects were just, the battle was just going to keep going. So, if the bat, if me and you had gone on fighting long enough, your forces might have been wiped out, or the dialects could have been. Mm. So the airstrike was like a, uh oh, the ship's in danger. We're going to have to mm. put up the stakes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Next. 
dominates. Smash him! Smash him with a melee! Kill him! Kill them all! Ah! This is uh, one of the examples where, um, uh, where I think it's misleading me. Like, you've had me send in multiple versions of a certain clip, um, either for quality reasons or to make me branch off the story in a dif different direction. Like, oh, that yeah. happens in this clip. Oh, but then that happens in the other. And something interesting I'd like to bring up is that, um, uh, surprisingly, I made Lefty do a good rabid scream from rab the Rabbids games. Like, ah! <laughs> uh, I thought, when you sent me both, I thought, I've got to use them both, because you sent me two, and I was like, so you've got this one, you've got the other, I was like, okay! Yeah. You go for those ones. You go for that ones. Yeah. <laughs>